Welcome to the Ed Fowler Show on this lovely Friday night. Um, we're joined by um, one of the creators uh, behind the uh, the exclusive segments uh, for this show. Kenny Chaos um, Hazard is here. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, dude. You're very welcome, and I know you're, you're not just the you're you have some in the uh, in the company, then you? you're like a part owner. Is that right? I wouldn't say I'm part owner. I just uh, I'm like the uh, I'm like the Triple H of XCW. Okay. I'm just the uh, one of the main guys behind the scenes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, so tell me, how did you um, get started in the uh, backyard business then? Well, uh, I would say back in uh, 1998, mm -hmm. uh, it was me and uh, a buddy of mine at the time, uh, Justin Parsley. We uh, had a little show going, and uh, as I heard Chris Jones tell you, uh, yes. he was a big part of it back then. Uh, we uh, just uh, decided to run our own bit company and... Uh, Fast forward a couple of years, 2003, I'm in it with XCW, and I'm we're still going strong. And uh, by the way, this old timer can still go. <laughs> so I'm guessing what's the interview with, uh, with Chris done? <laughs> what he said about... <laughs> okay. Not funny. Not funny. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, so tell me, so how did... Did you came uh, across XCW? Was you what? Are you one of the abandoned fathers of it? Did you or did you come across it and met Josh? Or how, how did that come about? Uh, when uh, there's a local company here in town that uh, all of us were going to, and uh, I just happened to be there one day, and uh, Genocide came up to me and he says, "Hey." Uh, there's a new company starting up here in Shelbyville. It's called XCW, and uh, Josh Fletcher is going to run it. And uh, he wants to know if you possibly want to be a part of it. Oh. Well, of course, I had my skepticism because, in fact, I had New Age Wrestling, which was my own at the time. Ah. And, uh, so, yeah, I went and, I, uh, went and checked it out, and... Uh, I had no intention on staying in XCW because I had New Age Wrestling. And, yeah. Uh, so, lo and behold, you know, I slowly become more and more part of XCW, and here we are today. Yes, and here we are today where the New Age Championship is in XCW. So, obviously, that must have came from your company. It, it's uh, kind of just named after... after uh, the new after my company, yeah, it, it's uh, it's something that I didn't have, but uh, we thought we needed something new and fresh, so uh, we decided, you know, hey, let's uh, get this one belt and it's always on the line, and uh, we'll just call it the New Age Championship because it's a new age type of idea. I see, I see. Uh, so tell me, um, then about uh, the New Age Championship. How long did that last for your company then before you? Join forces with XCW. Uh, let's see. I'd say in 2004 we finally decided just to give it all up and uh, merge the two companies. Gotcha. And uh, I had some people come with me over: uh, Stingray, uh, Ryan Wet Dream Riggs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a there's a guy that didn't actually get to wrestle on XCW. Huh? He he did wrestle in XCW, but it was on a, a dark match. Gotcha. His name was uh, Tsunami. He was probably the best wrestler I had in my company at the time. And me and him had great, great feuds at the time. And uh, I tried to get him into XCW, and uh, it just couldn't happen. Gotcha. Uh, are, you, are you still in contact with him, or...? Or, or, or not? Do what? Are, are you still in contact with uh, Sue Army or, or have you lost touch over the years? Uh, we don't talk as much as we used to. Uh, Tsunami is still a very, very good friend of mine, but uh, 
just not as much as we used to. Gotcha. That's fine. That's fine to know. So tell us about uh, the the reunion show. Who came with the idea to bring back XCW? Uh, the reunion, glory reunion. Uh, we, uh, me and uh, Fletch were sitting there, and uh, after some things went south in our uh, last business deal. Yes, as uh, Tommy said on our show uh, a couple of months back. Appreciate you uniting, sir. Uh, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> we and me and uh, Fletch, uh, our business went south and sour. So uh, Tommy kept bugging us, kept bugging us, and he finally, me and Josh got together one day and decided, why not bring it back? And uh, so we did, and uh, it was the hard struggle there in the beginning mm. to get everything back together what we needed yeah but once we got everything up and going it it just it was a snowball effect and everything started falling into place that's good that's good and i'm hoping as well it's uh, a success you were hoping it was going to be when you decided to bring back xcw uh this year oh yeah it's it's definitely been a lot bigger success than uh we expected it to be that's good. That's way to go, and uh, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, this time uh, the company will last consecutive years and uh, will be the longest ever backyard company ever running. That's and the goal. That's <laughs> well, hopefully you will get there. Hopefully you will. Uh, they got all the uh, all my uh, thoughts behind that, and uh, hopefully it will do the business. Um, so tell us about. The reunion show. Was you a part of the reunion? The reunion show. Yeah, I was part of the reunion. How show. was that? How was that night for you? How was that night for you? Was it was it a good night? Bad night? Awful night? It was, it was a good night. I uh, actually uh, won the uh, XCW Extreme Championship from uh, Void, and uh, that's a very interesting feud. You guys need to stay tuned for that. That's that's. That's the feud to watch. Yes, and that's uh, exclusively only on the XCW YouTube channel, which is in the description below. So please do check them out. Make sure to subscribe and show all your friends worldwide. Uh, I actually won the XCW Extreme Championship from Void that show. With uh, I beat him down so bad that his uh, mom actually came out and threw in the white towel. Oh, wow. To uh, surrender. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, it was a great day for uh, good old Kenny Hazard Chaos. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. And uh, so we did the re the reunion show, and then we had another show last month. I think it was. I can't remember the name of that one, but uh, there's another show. I think there was in uh, what, April. Is that right? April. X-rated. Yeah, is it X-rated? I mean, now uh, was that another good night for you or? Or did genocide? Uh, actually, avoid the easy night for uh, good old Kenny. Uh, I didn't wrestle that show. I just uh, I refused to sign a contract. Why? Right. For Emma Moore, I uh, refused to sign that. Why? Right. So why? Because yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to work for. I don't want to work for her. Who wants to work for a female? Oh, she might have some. Her. <laughs> so if if it was the other way around, if you were trying to get her to sign a contract with you, would you actually go ahead and do that? If if that was the circumstances, would you actually hire a woman? Well, I I wouldn't hire her. Okay. Just just want to make sure, making sure it wasn't just just biased there. But anyway, carry on. But uh. She tried to get me to sign the contract. I wouldn't sign. She said either sign the contract or give me the belt. And I yes. told her she wasn't going to get me either. Yes, I saw so, that. Uh, I looked for both. And uh, later on that night, I jumped void and uh, made him bleed and signed the contract in his blood. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I never seen that on the uh, YouTube channel on that X rated uh, show. And if you haven't seen it yet, go and check out it. it Bloody uh, show we were kind of describe a bit void, and, uh, and the last show this past Saturday, it was shot in the dark. 
long but overdue but it did happen eventually after the the rain uh was fine after that but um did you uh did void get any revenge on you uh, this past saturday or or were you still the upper hand on him oh yeah he uh he got lucky he got lucky and got his revenge uh he, uh, him and, uh, Fletch mm-hmm. teamed up against me in Genocide and, uh, probably in one of the best matches we've had yet to this day on, uh, XCW television. That's cool. Uh, between myself and Genocide versus, uh, Fletch and Void. But, yeah, they did get a, uh, little bit of revenge on us there. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, this coming Saturday, uh, you can get, uh, New Blood, I think it is, isn't it? New Blood? Yes. Yes, I thought so. <laughs> uh, uh, hoping that tomorrow, tomorrow, at 12 p.m. Eastern, you can get revenge on Void and hopefully retain your championship if it's on the line. Um, before we hear any more about this great interview with Kenny, let's head, let's head over and uh, let's catch up with uh, Weaver of his thoughts about his last encounter with the Joker right here on the Ed Fowler Show. Stay tuned. Last show, I wrestled Joker, which, he's a joke, can't wrestle, sucks, and he don't smoke. What's in front of that? He can't beat me. I went over cleanly, cleanly, this time, this time. But I'm a superhero, and he sucks. I smoke, he don't, so he sucks. Well, anyway, excuse me, I gotta go. Uh, XCW, which is New Blood, and this is the match card to go down at New Blood. Tommy Mayman will call Brandon Hobbs out for a rematch. XCW New Ace Championship, James Sable versus Venom with Ivy. XCW Tag Team Championship rematch, Evan Phoenix and Stevie Gobble versus Aces High. Patrick O'Reilly debuts against Psycho Circus Clown. Brady Branson debuts against, oh my god, uh, Eternal Darkness, I think how you pronounce it. The Destroyer, Chuck Abel debuts against Dragon. This and more. Card is subject to change. So there you about that. Card is subject to change there. That's my incredible segment there by Reaper. We're going to find out what's happening between them two next week here on the Edward Fowler show. But remember, we're joined by Kenny for the rest of his interview. He's not in his head here. <laughs> Have I said something wrong here? Why why in the world do you want someone like Reefer and Joker? <laughs> because <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> Shh. Why wouldn't you want to have someone like myself? Corey Lee. Chris Jones. But no, no, you chose Reefer and Joker. <laughs> well, because... Can I, can, I, can I spare myself, please? The reason why I wanted Reefer and, and the Joker is because they two have more chemistry and they are two funniest characters in XCW. And they were the guys who fitted the, uh, the segments more than yourself and Chris Jones and the, and the rest of the XCW locker room. That's why. And plus, and plus you are a busy person yourself as well. So, uh, that's another reason why I didn't uh, pick you two. Uh, you, you and uh, another wrestler, but hey-ho. Um, you're more than welcome to be in them if you want to be, because it'll fit you in them, because you are the, the crazy behind, behind it, so you can just fit yourself in there if you want to. If that makes you uh, feel any better. Sure. Continue with your interview, sir. <laughs> Great. Will do. Um, so, do you have a good relationship with everyone in the XCW locker room? Or do you have anyone who you do not like in the ring? Or backstage? Actually, no. The, I, uh, I get along with just about everybody in uh, XCW. Uh, there's very few that... Uh, I would say I didn't like, but I'm not going to mention any names. I don't want to start anything. Yeah, that's happened to me, yes. Uh, 
but yeah, there I get along with about everybody backstage. That's good. That's good to know. About in the ring. In the ring is a whole other ball game. When you're in the ring, it's totally different. I uh, in the ring, I don't like uh, anybody. <laughs> Apart from it on your side, or not? Whether they're on my side or not, I don't like them. <laughs> or trust them, in other words. Oh, I definitely don't trust, trust genocide. <laughs> well, you should. You know, he, I, I'm, he always have your back. As long as you, as long as you uh, keep him on the right side, he will be uh, on your side unless you turn on him. Rule number one in wrestling, don't trust anybody. What's rule number two? Rule number two, don't trust Hazard. <laughs> okay. There you are. To any newest members of the XCW roster, do not trust Hazard. Uh, as we know that this coming uh, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern, there's some new talent uh, debuting at XCW. Are you a bit worried about them? Because they could take your place in XCW, and you could be far, you, you could be left on the street, and they might just walk right past you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a bit worried? Yeah. Are you worried about that? No. You're not? No. For one, that is my ring. That is my playground. I am the king of extreme. If any of those guys want to come up and step up to Hazard, they're more than welcome to get into my realm. Welcome to my world. They have it at any of the, uh, the Wasta and the new members. Coming to the uh, to the roster this, uh, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern in downtown Shadyville. Um, so tell me about uh, your favorite rivalry so far in your in, in, in XCW or New Age Championship Wrestling or any other company you've been a part of so far. Uh, probably my all-time favorite is. Uh the one that happened in 2012 between myself and uh, Die Hard Corey Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably the best year we've had in XCW. Uh, me and Corey Lee fought, and uh, we ended it at Summer Mania in what was called a death match. Yeah. And uh, Fletch actually came out and uh, helped me win. If you uh, go back and watch any of our shows, uh, me and Fletch had never seen eye to eye. And uh, during this time frame, we did. Uh, I outsmarted Corey Lee. He thought he was outsmarting me, but uh, I ended up outsmarting him. Ah, well, I'm glad that uh, you'd be able to outsmart him, but it'd be a bit difficult nowadays to outsmart the newest talent because they got the good old YouTube to go back and see every match you've had on XCW on the archives and to get into your brain and they, and they can find out your weaknesses and your positives. Are you a bit worried about that as well? Are you a bit worried about that they can that he just beat you at your A game? I don't have any weaknesses, Valor. <laughs> well there you are, but you, you probably do have some weaknesses, but uh, you're gonna spoil them out right here on the Avala show, which is again absolutely fine. So tell us. I oh, go on. have no weaknesses, Prowler. I'm telling you. Okay. I, I, I take your word. <laughs> uh, when is that? So tomorrow is um, is the next show. And uh, tell us how that show will go down for you. Uh, that's not that. You are supposed to be a journalist, correct? I mean, you just asked me how I feel tomorrow's show is going to go down. Yes. Obviously, I'm for you. to beat... Fletch and Void. <laughs> well, it, you might not win. You might not win tomorrow. He might come with an A game and strike the poison and take the championship. Fowler, I, I don't know, man. You just don't understand that Kenny has her chaos is and will be the best in XCW. Well, I'm sure I, I'm, I'm going to agree because uh, I'm, I'm going to be unbiased here. But uh, that's up to the viewers who they think is the best in XCW. And I'm sure many people may think it's you. 
and many people might think it's other talents in the company like for example Chris Jones or even Void but who knows but we will have to wait until tomorrow to find out the result of that match and be there or be squared if you can make it downtown Sudbyville the full details are on their Facebook page uh, which is in the description below just click on the Facebook page and, take it and, and then click on the events page and it's right there and you can look at it and you can find out the address and where you can go and meet Mr. Kenny Handed Chaos and tie him to his face if he think he will win or lose because you know it's an old time he's getting on now he's getting on a bit you know and, and he's you know get put out of his misery you know he needs to relax a little bit more you know and let the new talent and the new era take hold as he said earlier in the show about uh, it's the new era here in XCW. Did you call me old again? I did, yes. Alright, I'm gonna fly to the UK. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, um, anything else you want to mention about uh, the new era here? Do you think it's a good, do you think it's, uh, a good feeling that we've got new people coming in here? Uh, to take XCW to the next level when when Fletch and yourself and Chris Jones and Void all decide to leave and relax and retire from XCW. It won't be until like 50 years from now. It's always good to have new uh, blood yes. in XCW because uh, obviously, yes, me, Fletch, Chris Jones. And many of us. We ain't going to be able to do this all the rest of our lives. Mm. So we need the new blood to come in and uh, kind of take over the reins and uh, show us what they got. I'm yeah. uh, really, really excited about these new guys, though. I I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the uh, Destroyer uh, to tomorrow at the show. I think he's going to be a very impressive uh, being. And maybe he can maybe somehow maybe replace Void or even yourself eventually. Not right now, but eventually in many years to come. Because I know you got... Many more years to come, yeah, because uh, your moustache tells me that you're in your 30s or 40s, so you've still got many years to go yet. You done? <laughs> I will be, in about one second. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Kenny, uh, for your time on this shoot interview, as I want to call it here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please do like, share, subscribe, and of course, comment with tips, suggestions on who you want to see on the Edward Fowler show for the XCW bit of the show on Fridays. Let me know who you want to see here, and I'll try and get them on the show for you. Um, make sure as well to check out XCW YouTube page, which is in the description below as well. Make sure to subscribe to them, make sure to check on Facebook, Twitter, and whoever else to all your friends. And do the same thing for Facebook. The Facebook link is in the description below. Like them, shoot all your friends, and check out their website. Check out the latest roster, check out the latest news and results of XCW. And from myself, Enjoy the rest of your Friday evening and make sure to check out the next show of XCW tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern and I'll bring you the results this coming Sunday live on YouTube. Until then, bye-bye for now.